Hey, this is Jacob, and I'll be your guide around better mode. In this video, I'm going to walk you through some basic layout designs in the space, and I'm also going to show you around the appearance section so you can brand your community. Without any further ado, let's jump in. First of all, let's go to the design studio. I'm going to click on my profile picture, go to administration, and then go to design studio. I'm going to enter collections and spaces. I'm going to open up the community collection and I'm going to add a new space. I'm going to go with the ideas space template for this example. So I'm going to use this template. I'm going to call this ideas. I'm not going to add a description and I'm going to keep this space private for now. I'm also going to add this to the community collection and I'm going to click create. And after a few seconds, we will have our new ideas space. Now that we're in the customization section of this space, I want to change the layout of this space. At this moment, the post block is spread across the space. I'm going to change this and I'm going to add a right sidebar into this space too. To do this, we're going to need to use a container block. To add a container block, we can hover over our top container block, click on the plus icon and then select container. In here, you'll find three customizable options. The first is the size. To get a main section and a right sidebar, we're going to have to put this to three columns or large. The next is direction. We're going to change this to horizontal grid. And the spacing, we're going to keep this as medium for now. If you want to, you can also add some extra padding by opening up the padding section and selecting to add some more vertical padding or horizontal padding. Now that we've made this first container block, I'm going to click the back button. I'm going to hover over this container and I'm going to create two more containers. The first one is going to be medium, which is two columns. The direction is going to be vertical row and the spacing is going to be medium. I'm also going to create one more inside of this container, which is going to be just one column wide and also in vertical row. Now that we have this container set up, we can now create a main section and a right sidebar. I'm going to move this post block into this first medium container. And now you can see we've now centered this container in the middle of the space. I'm then going to add some blocks to this right sidebar. In this case, I'm just going to add a hero banner. And I think I'm also going to add a leaderboard into this space. There we go. That's looking a bit better now. And that is how you create a main section and a right sidebar in better mode. Now I'm going to exit this space and I'm also going to create another space in community. Now that we have an idea section, I'm going to create a roadmap. I think I'm going to use a three column layout for this roadmap. So I'm going to open up our community collection again and click add space. I'm going to select a blank template this time and I'm going to use this template. We're going to call this one roadmap. And again, I'm going to leave the space settings the same for now. And I'm going to click create. Now we have our blank template to work with. Let's delete this rich text block. And to start with, I'm going to add a main container block and we're going to set this to three columns. And we're going to set this also to horizontal grid. We'll keep the spacing as medium. Inside of this container, I'm going to add three more containers and they're all going to be small in vertical row. So let's go ahead and just make those three containers. And there's the third one. And now we can start adding some blocks into these three container blocks. Now let's add a post block into this first container. And I'm going to go into the default tab view. I'm going to change the source of this post block to a specific space. And I'm going to select ideas. Next, I'm going to change the post type to idea, since that is the main post type in that space. And then I'm going to configure the fields to edit the view of these posts. Now I'm going to turn off the member avatar. And I think if I click into post summary, I'm also going to reduce the post title to small. This will do for the moment. I think I'm going to call this first post block planned. And then I'm going to exit. Now here's a shortcut to speed up the creation of the same block. You can click on the three dots next to the block and then select copy block. 
And when I hover over the next container, you'll see there's paste block. So I'm going to do this into both of the other blocks. And there we go. And I'm just going to change the names of these blocks. So the next one's going to be in progress. And the last one is going to be delivered. There we go. We've now created a three column layout. Now that we have a basic understanding of how to change the layout in better mode, let's focus our attention on branding the community. So to brand the community, we're going to have to go to the appearance section. To access the appearance section, we can click on the next option below the design studio, appearance. And this is where we can update the logos, the themes, the typographies, and the styles of the community. If I go into logos, you will notice that I can upload my logo, my square logo, and my favicon in both light and dark mode. If we go into the theme section, we can select your primary branding color. So whatever your primary branding color is, you can paste the hex code right here. You can also browse from a series of preset palettes that we've created for you. The next option is the theme mode. Now you have two options in better mode. You can select single theme or you can offer duo themes. So what is the difference? A single theme means there won't be a light and dark mode in your community. Whereas a duo theme allows you to have light and dark mode in your community. You'll notice below this option that we've generated a couple of palettes for you based on the primary color that you inputted at the top of this page. And as you can see, when I cycle through light one, light two, and light three, we're given three different variations of the light mode. We're also giving two variations of the dark mode based on your branding colors. If you select offer duo themes, we will separate these color palettes into light and dark. So you can choose your light version and your dark version. And as you can see, you still have two dark designs that we're going to give you and three light designs. You'll notice next to the different light and dark options that there's a pencil icon. When we click on this, we're able to further customize the colors for each part of the community. Simply click on the color and it will bring up the color picker where you can enter the hex code or you can just drag and drop until you find the color that you're searching for. Let's go to the next section. The next section in appearance is typographies. And when we enter typographies, we can change the typography for the entire community. For example, I'm going to select the Montserrat alternatives. And you'll notice that the community branding is updated with this font. You can save your changes should you wish to keep this. For now, I'm going to keep this as system. The last option is styles. In styles, you can change the general styles of many components in the community. For example, do you want your corners to be round or do you want them to be sharp? How do you want your cards to look? Do you want them to be plain? Do you want them to have a slight border or do you want them to be elevated? How do you want your buttons to look? Do you want them to be in a pill? Do you want them to be rounded or do you want them to be sharp with pointed edges? How do you want your avatar placeholders to be? We've selected cute, but we can also have our initials and we can also have neutral. And if you're using the cute and neutral options, every single member that joins your community will have a different design. You can also decide the style of the avatar. Would you like it to be a circle, a square, or sharp? And lastly, you can also choose the icon design. Do you want the icon design to be in a line? Do you want it to be solid? Or do you want it to be duo color? Now that we've gone through the branding in the community, let's go back to our design studio. And this time we're gonna go into header and sidebar. And this is where you can choose if you want to have a header or a sidebar in your community and also configure how they look and feel. If you don't want to have a header or a sidebar, you can simply toggle them off and they won't appear in any space in any community when done from this menu. If we want to edit the header bar, we can simply go into the top navigation, go into the settings, and we can select a preset header bar that we want to use. We can toggle on and off the different sections that we have in our community and we can also decide how the mobile view is going to look. We're also able to add menus in the header bar. If I go into menu you can see that I have items here and if I click into an item and I add some sub items you can see that I've now got a list of items. I can also change the style so they get spread across the space too. Lastly we have our sub menus. So if you want to have some sub menus in your community you can activate this 
and you can decide if they're going to be at the top of the nav bar or if you're going to push them down so they're at the bottom of the nav bar. You can also go into these elements and create as many sub items as you like and they'll be put in the list view. That's everything that you need to know to get started with the header bar. Let's turn our attention to the sidebar. As you can see, under the sidebar section, we already have two blocks here. We have a links menu and a collections menu. And just like the customization section for spaces, we can add blocks here to show on this left sidebar. We can also configure the options by clicking on the settings cog next to the block. If we want to add a block to our left sidebar, we can just hover over the sidebar element, click on the plus icon, and then we can add in a block and it will show it here on the left sidebar. Just like with spaces, if we don't want to have a block, we can click on the three dots and remove it. And we can also reorder the elements by dragging and dropping them. Well, that's everything that you need to know about basic layouts in the community, how to brand your community, and also how to edit the header and the sidebar in your community. In the next video, we're gonna talk about managing members. I'll see you in the next video.